Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting here on Learn Onyx. What we want to talk about today is a question that I see out there a lot actually, which it comes from and it's it's all about uh, recording color cues. Okay, so what happens a lot of times, we'll talk about kind of the why, how to fix it, um, what to do in the future. You start off a show and you have a first cue with an LED fixture. So in this case, I'm just using the Fuse Wash Z350s that are in the demo file. Um, and at the default, the colors are on at full. So if I take it and I take it and make it white, and then I just go and grab a color, right? I'm just gonna pull up the color picker for quickness. Um, no, you know what? I'm being bad. I should use the palettes, right? So I go and I create the color picker and I, I give it a color, right? I go ahead, I record this into a brand new queue. And then we, then we go ahead and we pull the fader, we play it back. What happens, right? The intensity fades up and the color goes from like a pastel, you know, from white through a pastel to the color you want it. Most of the time, that's not what you want and it can be really annoying, right? Um, and so this is one of the things you really have to weigh in a professional lighting console, how to deal with so that you can make the best choices basically in the future when programming your show. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can kind of circumvent this, a couple ways you can make things work that have differing levels of, it, it just kind of depends on what you're doing basically <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, so what's going on basically is, as I mentioned, these lights by default, LEDs and Onyx, have the intensity set to zero, that's at the default position, and the color set to full. And the reason why they're this way at the default values is so that you can grab the light, send it to full, which modifies only the intensity, and you get output on a color mixing LED fixture. This is generally a positive thing. So the first solution, just in kind of dealing with that, is if you're in a place, a venue where hitting things at full all the time isn't really something you need to do, it doesn't really matter to you, then you can go literally and take these to zero, record them in your default preset, okay, which is actually changed here. Um, I'm in right now the last, re the release candidate for a new version of Onyx, uh, so your default might look different, but edit them, set those to zero in the default, and then you won't get that issue, but also, if you hit at full, you won't see the light come to full. Now you could also store the intensity to 100% in the default um, and the color to zero so that you will only have to turn on color. Um, that's just part of working with RGB fixtures with co additive color mixing LEDs because ultimately each color channel is a channel for the intensity of that color, right? Unlike older fixtures or um, or just white source fixtures where you have CMY color mixing where that color is just adding color, but it doesn't really, it doesn't actually affect the intensity kind of in the same way. It's, it's a little bit different, right? We, we got different technologies there. Um, so that's one way to fix it. Another way to fix it is to use the fade option or the delay option in Onyx, okay? Um, so you could literally go and take them to full, again, put them in your color, We'll just do green for kicks, okay? Um, and then go ahead and hit fade, then hit color right here, okay? Now it says set fade color at zero, okay? Um, and you could set this at like a half second if you wanted, and then go to, and so I would hit enter, and then hit a delay for intensity to a half second as well, so you would, you would actually hit delay, intensity, half second, so that basically the color faded in entirely, then then the intensity started, it's faded. Um, but even that, just doing it at zero, recording that, now gives us this result, where we can play back that cue, and it fades in perfectly. But there is kind of a problem in this approach, again, it really kind of depends on your show, and that is, if I was in this cue list where it was red, right, and then I went to this cue list that's green and also intensity, you see it snaps, right? And you probably wanted it to fade. So 
ultimately, it really can come down to a lot of the times in how you run your show. A lot of times in shows, I will just go ahead and make sure I'm managing my intensity somewhere else than cues that are in color. Like if I'm busking, if I'm running lights live and on the fly to a band, then I'm going to run faders just like this demo show file has on the first bank. I'm going to run faders for my intensities. And that way, there's never an issue where um, you're bringing up intensity and color in the same queue. You'd only be fading color in a queue, okay? Um, and so you could switch colors, maybe then bring up the intensity fader, switch colors with the intensity fader up. Either way, it's going to happen and it's going to be smooth. Um, but if you're in a more theatrical kind of queue-listed environment, then you may just need to go ahead and you could also create a queue first that has them in the color of, of no color of black and then automatically have it follow to the first cue. So there's a lot of ways to handle this. The biggest thing is really just to understand where it's coming from because I think that's what confuses a lot of people at first is that, hey, this is a way to deal with newer technologies that also have to coexist in a console that controls older technologies and kind of the best ways to mesh them together. Um, so if you like this, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe here, because we always have more Onyx tips, and we would love to help you. And if you need Onyx gear, or if you don't, um, head over to learnstagelightinggear.com, add some Onyx gear or lights to your cart. Right there, if you go to the cart then to check out, there's an orange button. We'll show it on the screen. And you can hit that and add it to your quote request. Let us know some info about yourselves. We'll send you over a personalized price, and we'll also bundle in free training from Learn Stage Lighting Labs, which if you don't know what it is, it is a whole collection of courses, tons of resources, covers everything in Onyx, and the tutorials we always keep up to date with the latest version of Onyx. We're the only place that does that. And if you're outside of the U.S. and you're not buying gear, you just want to check out the labs, check it out below. We'll have a link as well to that so you can check it out, learn what the labs is, try it out, and see if it's right for you. Um, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.